Welcome to this edition of Stay at Home Connect. I'm Phyllis Jackson. A new strain of coronavirus in the UK is said to be even more infectious, spreading 70% faster than the original virus. Several countries are sealing their borders, banning travel from the UK. Scientists say mutations are normal, and it's just too soon to know if the virus is more deadly. But they believe the new variant is covered in the new vaccine. Emory administers COVID-19 vaccinations to its frontline healthcare workers. Nicole Baker is an emergency department nurse manager and emergency room nurse. She was among the first to get the Pfizer vaccine. Millions of Moderna doses are being shipped after receiving emergency use authorization from the FDA. This vaccine is said to be 95% effective. As for the current Pfizer vaccine rollout, a federal advisory panel recommends first responders and people over the age of 75 be prioritized. However, the CDC is leaving it up to states to determine who gets the vaccine next. Although health experts advise against it, holiday travel is well underway. Doctors fear that travel will lead to yet another surge in COVID cases within the coming weeks. Atlanta-based Delta Airlines is piloting a three-week program for those making essential flights to Amsterdam and Rome. The airline is the first to set up quarantine-free travel between the U.S. and Europe. The airline consulted with the Mayo Clinic, establishing a multiple test protocol, testing five days before travel, a rapid test at the Atlanta airport ahead of boarding, and a follow-up test once they land in Europe. Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms extends COVID-19 emergency orders. Those orders blocking termination of water services due to unpaid bills and prohibiting penalties for unpaid business taxes are extended through the end of January. A moratorium on residential evictions or eviction notice filings in publicly funded housing is extended through the 31st of March. And the hazard pay policy for some frontline city employees renews January 1st and will continue on a month to month basis until a vaccine is either available or the city returns to regular in-person working. Atlanta City Council members Andrea Boone and Andre Dickens are serving as Santa's helpers, joining at the Walmart on Howell Mill Road to do some Christmas shopping for two families in need. We wanted to make sure that the kids had the necessities, clothes, shoes, and we also bought groceries. So we want to thank Mr. Corey Ruth and Councilmember Andre Dickens for sponsoring these two families at Christmas time. The Baker family and the Mohammed family, they live in the area that Boone and I grew up in, uh, right here and right there in District 10. She and I grew up in Adamsville, so we know the struggles of the community. These family members are hardworking folks with a lot of kids, and they're just trying to make sure they get through the end of this year and beyond. And so that's all we're doing right here is spreading some Christmas cheer like we do each year. We come here over and over again to bless some families that we can and uh, just, you know, trying to be a, of help to somebody. That's a wrap. We'll see you on the next edition of Stay at Home Connect.